Hello, I'm Janiel, and welcome to the Imuna Project. We here at the Imuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with uh, respect to information, uh, guidance, education, explanation, and I would like to continue with the uh, series on Yom Kippur uh, by giving an analogy of uh, Yom Kippur, the creator of the Jewish people. There was once a good, kind-hearted woman, and she had, she was in a relationship with what we would call a deadbeat lover. This uh, person would sometimes uh, not be very nice, and eventually uh, he would abandon her for long periods of time. Days would turn into weeks. Weeks would turn into months. And the good, kind-hearted woman longed for this person because she loved him. She would sometimes uh, send letters uh, saying, you know, I love you. Uh, please be with me. I'm the one for you. Um, don't be with other people. Don't get involved in infatuations. Don't go after your eyes. Don't go after your heart. They will lead you astray. Um, you are the one I've chosen. Every once in a while she'd get like a, a postcard, a half-hearted letter, but these uh, feeble attempts at communication only made her um, more lonely, want him more. One evening, the deadbeat lover shows up at her doorstep, and he is very contrite. He uh, apologizes for all the things he said and all the things he didn't say, all the things he did and all the things he should have done but didn't. He is sincere, he's remorseful, and he grovels, he begs, I'm sorry, I was wrong, uh, please forgive me, you were right, uh, I, I, sh I was a horrible person, but I'm, I, I, I'm going to change, I promise, please forgive me, uh, this time I, I mean it, I'm sorry. And he is, is, he's not lying, he means it, he's sincere, he's truthful, and the good, kind-hearted woman can sense this. His record's not uh, been so great. He doesn't have a good track record. She figures, well, who knows? Maybe tomorrow morning he'll be gone. He won't come back. But the next morning he's there. Again, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I was wrong. These are all the things I did. These are the things I'm sorry for. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to change. Please forgive me. I'm going to change. I, I really mean it this time. And he pours out his heart. He pours out his soul. Tears running down his face. And this isn't a line. She can tell he really is sincere. And the good, kind-hearted woman forgives him and takes him back. And their time together was everything that she dreamed it would be, with him expressing his love. Uh, expressing, expressing his devotion, his dedication, how he's going to devote his life, and the words uh, that he would uh, uh, he would use, uh, he would say she would she was uh, uh, finer than gold, sweeter than honey. How uh, being with her, listening to her, was uh, was a joy and a delight. He would sometimes quote from letters she wrote saying how he knew that what she was saying was true and that he was wrong and again I'm sorry forgive me and um, she's she's enthralled she couldn't be happier nightfall he says I'm gonna go get something to eat I'll be back before you know it Minutes turn into hours. Hours turn into days. Days turn into weeks. Weeks turn into months. He's abandoned her again. The good, kind-hearted woman and the deadbeat lover. This is the creator 
and the Jewish people on Yom Kippur. During the year, so many of us don't even turn a thought to God. They don't pray, they don't listen to the commandments, they just stumble through life doing whatever they want. But on Yom Kippur, we show up at God's house. We say, please, I'm sorry, forgive me for all I've done. I'm gonna change, I really mean it this time. No, I'm really gonna, I'm really gonna be, I'm gonna be a good person, I'm gonna devote myself. Please, I'm sorry, please forgive me for everything I've done. Please forgive me for all the things I haven't done. I, I'm going to turn. I'm going to turn myself around. I'm devoting myself to you. And God forgives us. Because we're sincere. We're, this isn't a lie. We're, when we say it, we mean it. And so after Nila, we go have something to eat. We feel a little better. Life returns to normal. We forget to pray. We forget about God. Days turn into weeks. Weeks turn into months. This analogy shows us what it must feel like when once a year, one day out of the year, 25, 26 hours out of the year, the person comes back, begs, grovels, pleads, forgive me, forgive me, I'm sorry. This year, let us dedicate ourselves. Let us not be the deadbeat lovers. When we say we're going to change, let's mean it. Let's walk the walk. It's easy to say, oh, this time it's going to be different. I'm going to change. Talk is cheap. Do it. Turn your life around. Dedicate yourself. And follow through. Don't be like the guy who talks and everything's wonderful and great for a day. Maybe two. Maybe three. And then eventually drifts off, forgets about the Creator until next Yom Kippur when the whole thing starts all over again. Um, keep this in mind this year. Um, let's not be like that, that guy. Let's not hurt the one we love the most and the one who loves us the most. May you have an easy fast. May you be inscribed and sealed for a good year. And until next time, on behalf of the Immuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.